All right, so one of the things I've learned that you should do yes. when you're starting a video yes. uh, for YouTube is you have to like <clears throat> say something and like throw your finger at people. Okay. Like you have to be like, what's up every or something. Just like throw your <laughs> finger at them. Okay. Try it. All right. Try it. No. Throw, try finger. Th no. Mm, okay. Finger throwing. That's right. Finger bang. Yes. Oh. Absolutely. We're going to finger bang the finger audience. Bang. That's it. Yeah. No, How no. you doing, guy? Okay. Good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Vigo the Carpathian. Pretty much. And uh, we are going to build a computer. We are. Yeah. We are. So, I am DJ Mothra. This is DJ Zna. Correct. Uh, I think you said the last computer you built was in, like, 1998. Yeah, that's right. What was that machine? That was a Pentium machine that I built so I could actually write music, so that I could nice. actually track tunes and annoy my friends and uh, drive people crazy in clubs, get them angry, and chase me out. So, that was successful. Mm. The, the first computer I ever built, my dad built for me. Mm. It had a, um, it was a 386. Mm -hmm. The CPU was actually a small abacus. <laughs> um, uh, that was just, you know, and the, um, the, I remember the hard drive was 40, excuse me, 20 megabytes. How would you fill that? Um, well, there were several text documents. Oh my god! On my on my monochrome amber VGA monitor. Absolutely. You know, yeah. That thing could just kill Minesweeper. Oh my god! So anyway, so it had a, a twenty megabyte hard drive. <clears throat> um, it had uh, a RAM. Mm. A RAM. <laughs> a RAM. <laughs> and uh, my, I remember my dad put this software in it called Stacker. Oh my God! Which would double Jesus Christ your hard drive capacity. So we went from twenty to forty megabytes. Oh my God! This is this imagine. is this is ancient ancient history. I haven't that thought is, about this in like twenty years. That is like one deep house MP3. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's about right. It's like not and not even like a wave file. That's just like a. Like a, yeah, just the, just like a low res MP3. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely. And I think that this might get a little tough. Okay, that's so fine. So we need to put on, we need, I think we need to get like tactical. All right, gloves on. Okay. If I can figure out, I'm a DJ. I don't know if I can put my the gloves on. The fingers go inside the... That's amazing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to actually build a PC. We're going to build a PC. Yes. So the, um, <clears throat> the case that I have. Yep. Ah! Holy Here, hold this. Oh my ah! god, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> ah. This thing. <clears throat> so this is the uh, Asus Tough uh, GT501. It is for grand touring, apparently. I can see that. Yeah. It's rugged as hell. It, well, that's the whole thing. Yeah. That's why we have our tactical gloves on. Although now I think we can take our tactical gloves off. Okay. All right. <laughs> These actually come in handy with some things. Well, you had me put them on. I don't so, know if I can take them off now. So this case, this case is so huge that I can't even like share the screen with it. But the um, this is I, I love this case. This case is so badass. They're actually getting really tough to get. No kidding. These days, yeah. Huh. Um, so I was very lucky to be able to get one. Yeah, that's burly. Oh, it is. It has it has handles. It has handles on it. So. Ow. This not. Yes. <laughs> this not. So we were talking about um, our love of open world RPGs. Absolutely. Uh, specifically Fallout. Yes. And I wanted something that was kind of Fallout themed. Fantastic. Not themed like in a really cheesy way. They actually do make a Fallout case. I think I Buy Power okay. makes it. All right. But it's like super goofy. Yeah. It's no. like cartoony and weird. I want something that like could almost fit in. Perfect. To the Fallout universe and we talked about modding yep uh yep. fallout 3 new vegas yep i'm a big fan of modding skyrim nice um which i haven't done in a while but <laughs> and you know i thought this would be like the perfect opportunity to like 
I don't think there's any better practice, right? No, do for, it for for building a PC than to like just do it. You've got to do it. You know, you've got to do it. And I got some special components here, um, so that the, this would be like just something that <clears throat> really kind of fit in with that whole. I'm going to get excited. I had no idea this was happening. I just drove for two and a half hours and, and I didn't expect to be in front of the camera. So I'm wicked excited and a little perturbed. Okay. So we'll move on. Well, I'll, I, I apologize for perturbing you. It's, it's a good so, perturbed. All right. No, that's good. Yeah. So let me show you what I did. Okay. I made some things. All so, right. First thing I did for the whole like font thing is I customized a hard drive. Nice. Look at that. Wicked. Oh, trifoil on there. There you go. It. Yeah. And uh, I put some um, custom hazard striping uh, stuff for some of the interior components of the case. I matched it on one of the other uh, SSDs. So like thinking about modding, mm. there are a couple things. So I like an SSD for, you know, the, the fast load times. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of big files, like some of those big texture files Absolutely. with mods require um, a lot of storage. So this is a two terabyte uh, hard drive. Holy cow. And I think it's going to look cool. It goes in like, there's like a basement uh, in the case. You'll see this will actually be partially obscured, okay. which will actually make it a little more dangerous looking. Fantastic. Which is good. We like yeah, danger. That, but we danger love, is good. We love danger. Absolutely. We love danger. And... Um, to, and then there's a motherboard right there, which is also tough. So Asus has this whole... Oh, ah! Uh, ah! Oh, so. Right. so this is the tough um, uh, B450 plus gaming. There are a lot of words that go along with this. So the B450 plus uh, motherboard, it, ha it fits the same whole tough aesthetic, which is like the yellow and black kind of militaristic uh, look. And I think it totally... That's like really what inspired... Me to, to, to do all this. Well, that's Fallout. Thinking about, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's totally like, Fallout. Like modern, yeah. but also a little like tactical and funky looking. I yeah. got some um, some red RAM. Red, red, if you spell that backwards, it does, it's it does martyr. It's martyr. <laughs> it's martyr. Um, so, uh, well, it kind of matches the red rocket theme, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And we're yeah. going to be putting a uh, Ryzen uh, 2600X in for a CPU. Holy cow. Um, but for the cooler, um, I actually found a... a uh, this is actually made by Cooler Master, but it's a, what? a tough... Uh, all in one uh, closed loop liquid cooler. It's got these <clears throat> kind of heavy duty braided nice. uh, cables, so it's pretty cool. This and is insane. I mean, yeah. seriously, like this. This is making what I did in '98 look like oh. Tinker Toys. This yeah, is, this like, is even got the. Oh my gosh. It's got the the tough alliance. All right, that's a faction. It's extremely okay. tough. Um, and of course, all of this stuff is RGB. Nice. So what's ultimately going to happen? I'm sure is that. It's all going to be like badass and tactical, and they're going to turn on. It's going to be all rainbows, as it should. Yeah, as it be, should. It's going to be wonderfully colorful. Absolutely, oh. friendship is magic. It is. Uh, and uh, what else we got? Power supplies. Oh, hey. Um, so, <laughs> so what? Um, so yeah. I know it's been a while. It but has every like every time you build a gaming PC. Mm. What is the thing that you need? The motherboard? Yes. We yes. have the motherboard, we have the CPU, we have a really good case, it got a power supply with a bunch of things dangling from it. I, I think you might need a graphics card. Oh, 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 oh my yes. god. So, this is the uh, ass rock. <laughs> no, it's not really pronounced ass rock, but it's funny to call it ass rock. Ass rock. Ass rock. Ass rock. Ass rock. For those about to ass like rock, the, we salute you. Oh. Yes. That t the form the form of that salute. I don't. We move on. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep it going. Keep yeah, it let's going. Not, let's not talk about how. Okay. That works. All right. So this is the Ass Rock Challenger, mm. and this is a um, an AMD uh, fifty seven hundred XT. And look at that! Holy it matches God. our wonderful yellow and black uh, color scheme. We are in theme. We are totally in theme. Uh, so all of this is like super cool. Mm. Um, I don't think it's going to be too matchy matchy. All right. I think it's all going to fit together. This even has some like little texturing stuff on there. That's, That's very important on a graphics good. card. It's very textures. Yes. 
Every graphics card needs to be able to handle textures. Oh my gosh. And this way, you can uh, handle the textures on the uh, graphics card. Oh, Asia Horse! Asia Horse? Hey, let's talk about Asia Horse. Is that a horse in Asia? Well... Oh, uh, there's a picture of a it, horse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, looks, it looks Asian. I think so. Yeah. Okay, all right. Be, I mean, I don't want to be judgy. Not in the slightest, no, no, no I think absolutely. A, I think Asian horses are probably the best horses. They, they gen... I, yes. Yeah. Um, so these are... What is that? These are cable extensions. And these are cable combs. There are clear ones, and there are black ones, and there are gloves. I feel oh, amazingly man. uncomfortable. God, I wish I wish I could do a, ah. an MJ impersonation right now. No. That I could live with. No. No. -uh. I'm mm -hmm. not doing it. No. Not no. Doing it. We're, we're, we're building the PC. I wish your name was Annie, and I would ask you if you were okay. I'm not okay. So DJ's not has never had an unboxing video before. So now he's going to help me do an unboxing video for the tough B450 plus gaming. Now, since this isn't really an unboxing video, <laughs> we're going to do the abbreviated, entirely less lame version of an unboxing video. We're not ah. going to like, we're not going to like dwell on this. So uh, you open the box and inside is the motherboard. It really looks impressive, actually. Yeah. Isn't yeah. It? This is serious hardware. So, uh, oh, and we need this. What the hell is that? So, okay. Well, before we go any further, this is really important. So... Uh, this you call the I.O. shield. Okay. Um, and this is absolutely always 100,000% of the time, because that's a real thing, mm. um, the first thing that you put in your computer case. Really? You snap this into the uh, computer case, and okay. then the when you put your motherboard in, it slots in there. Oh, okay. Because See, I, wouldn't, I did not know that. And that's what we're here to learn. Yes. Right? I'm here to, to share the fruits of my knowledge. Mm. Um, and the trouble is, if you put the motherboard in and then build the whole PC around it and you don't have your I.O. shield in, then you go in the box to look for the manual for the motherboard to see how to do something, and you're like, oh, the I.O. shield, let me just put... Oh, then, oh my goodness. See, that's, that, would be, that would be me. <laughs> and then you have to unbuild uh, your PC. No, that would definitely be me. Um, all right, so I... Oh, wait, this is... Hey, this is your unboxing video, so you take it... You have to remove it from the bag. Oh, and this thing, what's all over this, um, this thing has a bunch of MOSFETs on it. Okay. Do you remember what MOSFET stands for? It's, it's the most FET. It's what that means. It's all the FET. It's all the FET. It's all the FET. You, see, you can have some Boba FET, but this is the most FET. Metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. Um, and that little um, layer of metal oxide inside them is very sensitive to... A static discharge. So I'm going to assume you this is a static band. That's right. So in a former life, I worked for aerospace before I decided to be starving and poor and uh, by playing music. And the biggest thing that we learned about in aerospace materials was making sure that you weren't going to fry hardware that was going to be cruising above your head because there's no way of servicing it. I am now well grounded. Excellent. In more ways than one. Wow, I, and never, I never thought of attaching that to my wrist. Really? But your hardware is very, very sensitive. Static electricity is not your friend in this situation. No. Um, I still have no idea what I'm doing, but at least I can make sure that I'm not sending power to the uh, board and frying components. Yes, this please. really is spectacular. Yeah. This, this is something else. Uh, I'm not used to things being this cool. Oh. No, I'm really not. This is impressive. So... The, uh, yeah, please do not discharge all over the motherboard. I'd appreciate that. You have to pay for that where I <laughs> yeah. come from. Oh, well, you know. Mm. Um, so, okay. Now, the nice thing is the cooler we have is going to utilize the um, these little brackets yes. are for AMD stock coolers. <clears throat> they just clip on. Okay. And the cooler we have, which is going to be nice and simple, it's going to use those existing coolers, which is great. Awesome. Um, and uh, and this <clears throat> this is going to be... I think this is going to be pretty cool. So the first thing we got to do <clears throat> is get the CPU. In. So we're going to see that little lever right there. Yeah. So just go ahead and lift that and pull it all. It just yeah. There yeah, you there go. There we go. There we I go. Successfully snapped that off. Okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Please don't do that. Okay. Next, we're going to need a CPU. Now this is a very big box for a little tiny thing like a CPU. Mm -hmm. This actually comes with a cooler. 
Okay, all right. Yeah, AMD are really good about including coolers with their CPUs. Hmm. So, fun facts about AMD CPUs. Right. Um, they, everyone that I know of comes with a cooler. Certainly all these Ryzen ones do. Mm -hmm. And uh, the cooler's actually like pretty decent. Hmm. Like it lights up and like, it says AMD all over it. We didn't so. have these back no. in the day. It was, it was so dull. Like the fact that we can have things that actually have MOSFET circuitry and actually can change color. That's like, what? You know? <laughs> Things have changed. What? It's the, the color changing thing, as I showed you earlier with my <laughs> other system, which fortunately is not rainbows again. Um, color changing is, has pluses and minuses. It right. was beige and you liked it. Okay, so Mr. No Discharge, if you would please remove that CPU from there carefully. Just hold on to it and I'll show you how to put it on there. Okay. Jeez Louise. All right, let me put this away. Okay. okay. So how do we orient this here? Well, I'm so glad you asked. So you'll notice in one of the corners of this little thing, there is a little tiny triangle right there. I that? never would have seen that by myself. Well, there's another thing, too, because okay. if you'll notice how the dots meet the corners, mm -hmm. there's also like a little cutaway. Gotcha. There's like a dot missing. Now, if you look in the bottom here, you will notice a little tiny triangle and a pin missing, basically, and making a little V-shape. So that corner goes to that corner there. All right, so that's actually, that's incredible. So things to look for, you want to look for the tiny triangle here. Tiny triangles. Tiny triangles. And uh, make sure that that matches with the triangle on here. And I do know enough not to force anything. So nope. it should just basically fall right in. We're going to gently align things. Oh my goodness. Hold That's on. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Ta da! Yay. And they always are sideways. I don't know why. That's interesting. <laughs> so, so then I guess we lock it in by throwing the guillotine forward. That's right. Okay. That's right. Which is now, that's interesting. There's a lot more tension now. Right. And then that's not going anywhere. Like you could shake, I don't, I don't encourage you to try it, but go ahead. If you were to shake that vigorously, mm. then that would not fall out. That's in there very securely. Not fall out. Get not, it? No, not yes. Fall out. Fall out. Yes. The next thing we are going to do is apply the thermal paste. Yes. And the thermal paste is there to, so if you put a, a smooth piece of metal mm -hmm. on top of another smooth piece of metal, mm -hmm. Um, they will appear to be in contact. However, there are microscopic little grooves and pits and things like that that prevent them from being really totally together. Okay. So the thermal paste is highly conductive goop that squishes in between those two things to take up any of that space. Much like food with me, it fills the void. I wish something would fill my void. <laughs> so there's this whole thing about thermal paste. You never, you never thought of wearing this? I, Ever? No, just not on my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> well, that explains the burning. Okay, yeah. All right. So, so the first thing about thermal paste <clears throat> is um, you have to make sure, sure it's good. It's an excellent bouquet. If you would like, if you like to do the taste test. Mm. Would, <laughs> okay. So there are a couple schools of thought mm. on this. All right. So one is you put a pea-sized glob right in the middle. That's what I was taught. And then you press the cooler down right. on top of it, right? Yep. Works fine. The alternative, and this is really the only, and there are X's you can make and things like that. Let's get this and, closer. And then there's also a spread method. All right. Where you make that glob and then you very carefully spread it out. And you're not using any more. Mm. But you spread out and to make sure you get good even contact with that. Okay. With AMD CPUs, because they're a little bit bigger, yes. I do I do sometimes like to do the spread. Method. Who doesn't? Okay. I just put a pea-sized glob. Now this is stringy like melted cheese, so when you pull it away, just be aware of that. Alright, so right in the center. Right in the center. Okay. Like a pea. Are you familiar with the pea? Uh -huh. <laughs> the size of AP. There you go. Uh, people, there you go. I think that's, that's good. Oh, that's that's a that's good. All right, is that good? Yeah. That's yeah you weren't that. kidding. Look at that. Yeah. All right. Goopy. Yeah. All right. Um, so, one thing about liquid coolers is that um, you have this radiator attached to them. Wild. Um, I know that's kind of the whole thing. Right? No, that's wicked wild. <laughs> and uh, it it's a it can be a little funky. 
to get them in and because you have to wrangle this radiator. Well, then what I do is I hold this. Okay. All right. And then we see these little clips here. Yep. So the idea is that these clip on those little things here. So actually, I'm going to hold the radiator. Okay. And you're going to carefully get those on there and try not to hit the thermal paste ahead of time. Sure if thing. You can. All right. So both these little guys. Yep. One on either side. Okay. Yep. There, there we go. go. All okay. right. So, so we're I'll, both on. I'll hold that. You tighten it up. Sweet. Boy, this boy, this would definitely be. Uh, if I did this by myself, there's no way. Yeah, this would be a pain. There's no freaking way. Um, I'd actually have to either hang that from something. All right, now how tight do you want these? Like, good, good and finger tight. Okay, we're almost right. there. That's this like side good. is finger tight. Because you, you you really want good contact, and because we only have two contact points, like I don't think you should be afraid of making it. No. Because you got to squeeze that. Gotta I'm squeeze that rising guy. to the occasion. Oh. Yes. <laughs> now the next thing we're gonna do is is uh, is ram. That, uh, the noun, not the verb. Or the adjective. Oh. That's right. You're going to install these with a vengeance. Oh. Mm. That, that's a joke because it, it's, uh, it's Corsair. Vengeance. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now it is time uh, to get that RAM in there. So I'll open this one, you open that one. Okay. okay. All right. Just stuff out. Now this is going to be 16 gigs. Total? Total. Okay. Yeah, each one of these is four. All right. Not a colossal. I'm so actually surprised because I, I would have thought with, with why not 30, 30, uh, 32? 32. Yeah. The amount of RAM utilized um, when you play a game yeah. is like I've, you know, like if I play a triple A title. Okay. And, um, you know, like have everything all maxed out and all yeah. that stuff. I I don't even use sixteen. Okay. Like I, I sometimes I use eight for sure. Okay. And sometimes I use like ten, eleven, maybe twelve. Like I've never utilized sixteen gigs of RAM. So the graphics card is doing the heavy lifting. Yeah. All right. Yeah, exactly. So the sixteen gigs is more than enough. So let's put these in, and you'll notice that they are keyed. I see in there. Yep. So why don't you go ahead and just pop those in yeah. one at a time. Oh, first you got to open up the... See? There you go. <laughs> See? Exactly. <laughs> so let's this open is, up the This is what things. we're talking about so we first. Can, we can do this. They don't open on the other side. Okay. Uh, oh, and this one... Okay. Yep. Yeah, that one's fixed on that All side. Right. That's fine. Good. Make sure it's lined up the right way. Yeah, there you so go. So you don't hear any aggressive snapping noises when I do this. Yeah. Aggressive snapping is, uh, you know, not <laughs> ideal. Oh, and just push it in so this that'll click. There you go. Look at that. That's wicked cool. That felt correct. That really did. Here. Do, 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 do. I'm getting good at this. Look at that. Oh. You're like an like expert. Here, let me turn it like there so people can see what you're doing. <laughs> You've changed everything now. And All mm, right. No, it's okay. Because look at the words. Like, once you get one of them right, as long as you get the words all pointed in the right direction. Well, you know, it's more than words. Oh. <laughs> Now we are dating ourselves. Uh, That's yeah. right. One would say I'm being a bit extreme. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, see, I have to turn this sideways, and now I can't fit a thing in. There you go. That's right. What am I doing? Where does that it happens go? With age too. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I think um, that, that feels you, good. I do, I do. Yeah, just push it down until it clicks. Mm, nice. Cool. There you go. Mm. So, you know, I was thinking the other day that um, building PCs is actually a lot like DJing. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. You're, you're taking things that other people have made, and you're putting it together in a unique way and creating something totally new. And also, if you try to do it for a living, you'll probably start to death. That sounds about right. Um, <laughs> but what I like is, is again, um, your interpretation is unique. Yeah. Every build will be unique. How you, how you take the raw material and what you end up with will be expressive of yourself, which I kind of really dig. Right, and that's why we do stuff like this. Yes, yes. If this thing doesn't work, I am never getting my money back. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you try to bundle all that up? Like my emotions. Just but yeah, that's yeah, right. Exactly like my emotions. And then just stuff it down underneath where no one can see. Exactly like my emotions. Exactly. Yes. Fine. Hey, hold this. Rule number one: Don't oh, forget the. Jeez, Louise, it's squishy. Yeah. It's incredibly odd and squishy oh, on one side. 
this is a special case. I like Nate's box. So that this is nice toolless removal, and those have a stop so they don't come out all the way. And by toolless, they mean with an actual screwdriver. However, I'm pretty tooly. All right. Okay. It's and pronounced thool. <sighs> All right, I, I can only apologize so much. Okay, so these are, oh, these are actually, um, so this comes with some RGB fans already. Oh. Which is pretty sweet. Oh. Uh, f uh, four, and this is not a non-RGB fan. Okay. Um, but that's okay. This should be the, the cable bunch for the, uh, like the power switch and all that. Okay. And then also the RGB control, which look daisy chain, which all is right. really nice. So. Uh, to do this more effectively, we're going to put this down on our on its side and try not to crush the Asia horse. Oh, geez, no, tables. please, ow! Oh, oh my, oh, mm. sorry, no. that's right. That, do we have to peel this off? No. So there's a there's a puffy part. I see the puffy part. Yeah. He's so not the, talking about me. No. So the puffy part uh, goes toward the motherboard. Toward. Yes. So the motherboard is going to be in here. So yes. Puffy port. Puffy port. Puffy part. So, listen, get your puffy part going the right way. Um, so, but this row of stuff, yes. if you look on the mother, you can tell, is on the bottom. Oh, okay. So, it's going to be oriented like so. Okay. But puffy part facing the motherboard like that. And then, see that? Go ahead, take it. Okay, so where and does this live? See this slot right here? Mm -hmm. It snaps into place. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, now I see that there's a chamfer here. Does that have to face on the outside into the into the? Uh... No, you just squeeze it through, and it'll there are little bumps here, and it'll just lock right into place. Okay. Let's right. so actually start in the corner, and it'll be. We need to guide this in here gently. Okay. Yes. So it's, yes. So it's gonna. I got gotcha. you. It's gonna line up with all the little standees. Okay. I'm gonna hang on to the cooler. Okay, and we will guide this right in here. So the little. Um, you can see that the ports here line up really nicely. Nice. And then this you see just, it lines up with yeah. those. Yeah. How easy is that, right? That's fantastic. Wait, I don't think that's in the right place. I think we're in the wrong slot. How many times <laughs> have I heard that? Oh. Yes. You know, the, choosing the right slot is really, that's like the starting point. It's, what, but whatever your you know. preference, that's fine too. Right. Yes. We're not here to judge. We're not just in the here, slightest. You know, it's like... I'm just a guy trying to live my life. Way too many computers everywhere. <laughs> it's just like I'm not time to judge anybody.
have to say, we have posts. We have posts. All right. There we go. Look at I'll that. I'll be damned. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, wow. We have all of these nice things. Um, so we have fans running. I can hear the CPU cooler going. Yeah, I can hear that too. Um, this is great. All right, so now we have um, to... Okay, so now we're going to set up our boot stuff. And um, now we're going to get this thing going. But it I'm works. amazed. I'm it amazed. works. It I'm works. Amazed. Look at that. I'm amazed. Earlier today, Fantastic. There, was, there, was no, there was no computer that worked. No. And now there's a computer that works. It didn't exist. This is wild. Yeah, this is pretty damn wild. So, and it looks freaking cool. Well, I'm very glad that you think that this looks so awesome. Um, the, um, you know, the, one of the most important um, aspects of doing this, and I wanted to make sure that this worked uh, before we get into this, um, is I want you to know that this is for you. No. Yes. No! I'm not worthy. Oh, my God. Come on. I, how long have we known each other? Uh, 18 years. We've been through a lot. We've known each other a long time. And, like, this oh my. is something I wanted to do. Dude. It's like, I know this is something that you want. You I've, know, I've, have, I've, so. I, this is, this is, this is out, this is outrageous, man. I'm, I'm completely humbled. Thank you. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I just, <laughs> oh, I, I was like, I'm coming over to hang out and then it's yeah. like, let's build a PC. Yeah, let's build a computer. And, and I'm like, fine. I'm like, okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm this close to, to tears, dude. Thank you. I'm, I'm I mean, wicked humble, man. It's like, you know. What? Yeah. What? Right? What? We're both wearing, look at this shirt. I'm wearing a Fallout, this is actually a Fallout 4 shirt, but whatever. It's Red Rocket. Yeah, this is Nuka Cola. Nuka Cola. That's right, Fallout 4. And, you know. Like, look at this thing. I mean, you came over, and we're building a PC that has radiation trifoil I'm, hard drives. Uh, Come dude, on. I'm, I'm like, and, yeah. and I'll be honest, I was secretly kind of jealous. I was like, hey, guys, building something <laughs> oh, freaking boy. cool. Yes. And I'm going to go home and essentially play with my VIC-20. So, no, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm, I'm, I am like, Nate got me into Fallout. I am, I am like the biggest <laughs> fan of Fallout. Um, now I can actually play something with something modern. I haven't had a modern PC in, in, in like 15 freaking years, so well, thank you. Well, this is something I wanted you to have. I guess we've been good friends for longer than I can even think. Uh, I'm, I'm going to explode. So, so good. I'm glad you think it's awesome. Very it's awesome. It's more important that it actually worked. Because <laughs> if it didn't uh, work, I was going to be like, oh, shucks. Oh, well, better luck next time. That's right. But, See you. <laughs> thanks. Bye. <laughs> but uh, it works. Oh. And this is going to be awesome. All right, and um, and now we're going to spend the next six hours updating Windows. Yay! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, so after a throw your finger, throw your finger. Okay, so so after an evening of building and sorting and installing uh, RGB control software and updates and a uh, nice Fallout themed. Uh, wallpaper. <laughs> we uh, we have a system that looks super cool. Really badass. Really badass. Really badass. It, I think it really captures the vibe. Um, it you can see the um, you know the the painted on radiation trifoil through the. Am I pronouncing that right? Trifoil. Yes, you are. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's three kinds of foil. Right. All three kinds of foil. That's right. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got the. I really think this captures. Shush. <laughs> I really think this captures the the Fallout vibe. One hundred percent. Without being corny or over the top, and really with a minimum amount of customization. Yeah. You know, I yeah I painted a an HDD. Um, I put a a piece of reflective hazard stripe on this um, basement cover and on the. Uh, the SSD and we we put some RGB fans yep in and I think the red RAM looks really um, mar the martyr 
<laughs> it's, it, it looks like ammunition. Yeah. yeah. It really looks like ammunition. I want this to I, I want this to look a little hazardous. That it does. And with the, the funky stuff, I, I just think with the, the, the whole ace is tough aesthetic, you know, and you know, so with that whole idea in mind mm. of someone who can um, you know, have a lot of mods going, a lot of stuff, but also be able to play modern games. Um, and fit into the vibe, and I think it really, I think it really accomplishes that. And with this case, you've got the ability to grow. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. This is this is a case. You, it's got built-in vertical GPU mounting uh, brackets. Awesome airflow. We were we were doing a little bit of testing, and the airflow of this thing is great. Mm. Works better without a mouse pad on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> but the um, yeah, this is just a really this is a really really nice case. Um, you know, if we want to talk about a review of this case, I would give it. I would give this case five stars. Yeah. Um, there's loads of room for cable management. It's, it's obviously a big case, and it's got um, a lot of room to grow in it if you wish, um, but it's not so excessive. Right. You know, is this is not an excessively huge thing. Um, it's well. When we started the video, it's been it's been twenty years since I built a PC, and I've gamed. Strictly on consoles, and I've been a huge fan of Fallout 3, of Fallout 4, of Fallout New Vegas, and that's actually something that Nate and I, we've, we've run nights themed to this specific game. We have. Yeah. Yeah, we had a night called Fallout. Yeah. With the Fallout dancers. Yes. That was fun. That was amazing. Yep. Yes. Uh, ladies in distressed clothing with gas masks on that glowed. And that weaponry. I made myself. Yep. Yes, that's yeah. right. Yeah, that yeah. was fun. Yep. Right. So, um... And, and I, I actually have a small side thing to get rid of stress where I actually build Fallout jackets. So go, Oh, go get your jacket. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All, right. All right, so tell me about this Fallout jacket. Well, um, life's pretty stressful, and I really like Fallout, and there's nothing really out there that's complete. So what I have here is, if I can turn this around and not spike myself to death, is I made a Tunnel Snakes jacket. Nice. Right? So what what better Fallout logo to go on a leather jacket than right. the tunnel snakes? Right? Exactly. So I was I was sort of imagining what if they uh, finally left the vault, had to negotiate the wasteland. So you've got your 101 patch here, you've got your tunnel snakes logo here. Um, we got a little full of ourselves when we became the overseer, <laughs> and there's a uh, sunset skull, right? Because we like cruising around when it's aesthetically pleasing. And on the front, you've got an official Tunnel Snakes patch. And let's see what else. Oh yeah, uh, somebody you shouldn't have fallen in love with. Because let's be honest, you shouldn't be falling in love with any of the Tunnel Snakes. <laughs> right? And all these patches I got off of Etsy. Uh, again, Work. You made this all yourself. Yes, all of this is stitched with a leather sewing machine and properly glued and then stitched again. So this is something that you could really go out and get into trouble in mayhem. He is a fan of Fallout. I kind of like it a little. But I'm a huge fan of Fallout since, since the very beginning with mm -hmm. Obsidian and uh, Black Isle and... Again, I still can't. You know what's going to happen. The video is going to turn off, and he's going to be like, "Well, that's great. Um, you can uh, you can go, and uh, we're keeping the PC." Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm. It'll be available on Etsy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm uh, I'm stupefied, Nate. Thank you. You know, you're Thank my you. brother, and I really want you to have this. So, oh. like, you deserve it. Thank um, you. Thank you. And uh, now and I can't get. And now we'll have to figure out how to get Borderlands Three, which came with the. GPU, how to get this running, and maybe we can play that together. That'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Thank for you so much. Along, yeah. Um, on this, this was a really, really fun PC to build. If you can find this case, I cannot recommend it enough. Uh, if, again, being being a noob for even, twenty years. Even better than that, if you can find a person like DJ Zna to have in your life, I recommend that even more. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you're gonna get me teary up. No, all right. Don't cry. Uh, no, it's okay. Actually, you can cry. You know, there's more than one way to be a man. You cry if you want to cry. <laughs> it's fine. I'm uh, blown away. There's I'm, no crying in Fallout. There really isn't. Yeah. No, there really isn't. Right. There's all, probably there's no blinking in Fallout either. 
So yeah, you know. that yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Now I can unsee that. Yeah, great. Anyway, thank you all. Thank you. Um, okay. All right. Well, let's get uh, let's get you gaming. Fuck you. Yeah! Yeah!